Hi everyone, Nick Kretikos of Nick's Seasonal Decor, and today Alex and I decided to recreate that terracotta cow. So this picture and this design was inspired by Family Time Crafts, and I really think it turned out cute. So here's the materials that we used. We used some terracotta saucers, we used some terracotta pots, and if you would like an in-depth blog post about that, let me know. We're starting off by painting all of our terracotta pots and their saucers. We used one 8-inch pot, one 6-inch, then we used four 4-inch, and then that's 8-inch saucer as well. So we're painting all of these with an acrylic paint, and right off the bat, if you wanted to spray these with a protectant or a sealant later on, you absolutely can. Now we're coming back in with some brown acrylic paint and creating the splotches that you see on a cow. And I think creating these cows in different color schemes would be really cute as well. So you could do pink, you could do black spots, you could also turn this into a pig, which I really want to do. Uh, maybe we'll give that a shot one of these days. But just take your paint, it only took one layer of each, you can't see the terracotta through it. And neither Alex or I really were going for perfection, this was just a really fun project to try. And it looks so cute in my garden. So paint a bunch of splotches, doesn't matter how big, how small, how perfect. You know, the more imperfect you can create them, the more natural and realistic to a real cow it will be. So we're also doing the same thing for the smaller pots. These pots are going to act as hands and feet. And we're doing the same thing to the smaller saucer as well. So the smaller saucer is going to be the, the face of the cow. So we're drawing two kind of lima beans uh, for the nose. And then we're coming back in with more of those brown splotches. So to secure this, we're using some jute. This is going to be for the hands. This is the only amount of jute that I had available at the house. And honestly, you guys, the only thing I had to go out and purchase was just a few sizes of the terracotta pots. I actually had some left over, and I had this leftover jute, and the, uh, the paint was left over as well. So we just created a knot, we're feeding it through, and then we're going to create another knot on the other side. And this is going to become the hand. So just tie those knots really tight to prevent the terracotta from falling off, because terracotta is very delicate. So once you have that, you can come back into the middle, uh, the hole, the drainage hole from the larger 8-inch pot, and just poke it in. We're going to come back in with some hot glue. Nope, we're not hot gluing it. Uh, I'm so used to saying that, you guys. We're using E6000, and that's going to secure the nose to the bottom of the 6-inch pot, and then securing the other pot with the nose on top of that so I already added some e6000 to the rope and now it's time to paint and I know I know I am NOT an artist uh, but this was a lot of fun we're just going for a fun project so I'm painting some eyes on it I started off with two black eyes and then we we're gonna come back in with some uh, eyelashes right here so I just drew a couple lines and we're gonna add some white dots to simulate the eyes as well so a big thanks to family time crafts for this inspiration this was so much fun to make and I hope you guys attempted as well because this creates a really cool piece for your yard and you could actually do it with kids so I was looking everywhere for foam I actually checked out three or four stores none of them had it so I found some of this adhesive cork board uh, from the dollar store and we're just gonna cut a couple triangles out of it and add those black or brown splotches on it as well then we're going to just take some more E6000 and secure it. So E6000 isn't like a super glue with that instant gratification. So you do have to hold it for a couple of minutes until it becomes a little bit tacky. And then a full 24 hours to cure. But just like hot glue, we used a lot of E6000 to keep this together and prevent it from falling apart. And look at how cute this is turning out. The finished product in my garden. Here is the grand reveal. If you enjoyed this, be sure to give it a thumbs up and a share. I greatly appreciate it. And be sure to check out our other social media handles as well as nickseasonaldecor.com. We have thousands of other creative tutorials and who knows, you might be inspired. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.